Welcome to art. Today I'm going to show salt painting. So you'll need salt. Um, also, there's a fun step before we start to paint with salt painting, which is just playing with the salt. So a lot of times I use a bin or um, in this case, it's like a lasagna dish, but you might have something plastic or you might even have a like a cardboard box. Um, like I have this old cardboard box that I could use for it. it it's whatever kind of a bin you have. Um, so for this part, some students really enjoy just um, feeling the sand, and obviously some don't, right? Because it feels sand, uh, salty and sandy and gritty. So if you don't like it, don't do it. But if you like it, you can play with it and practice scooping and sprinkling. And depending on how much salt you want to use, you could put a lot in there and then bury things in it. That's a really fun sensory activity. Um, so that's, it can be that activity for the whole time, or you can introduce something else. Um, I like to use paper plates for this. I didn't have any, I'm gonna use this dark piece of paper. It's a little bit thicker than a regular paper. Again, whatever you have, if you have cardboard, it's really great. Um, I'm gonna just put this, I'm gonna scoop my salt aside, and then I'm gonna lay it here, and I'm gonna put glue, so remember with glue, you have to really squeeze. And so students, it's really good for your finger muscles and get super strong if you can squeeze. And you can squeeze as much as you want. I like to squeeze lines or kind of like a web. Um, if you wanna make a specific design, maybe you wanna make, maybe you have something in mind, you could make a flower shape or a happy face or you could write your name. I'm just making kind of a webby design. All right, so I have it like, so there's a lot of lines that I think that turns out nicer than if it's in one big blob, but one big blob is also very cool. So you decide. So now we're gonna take our salt and sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. So fill it up, get your whole, all the glue covered with salt. Okay, and then when it's all covered, you shake it. And it, it actually helps to shake it to spread it around, right? Okay, now all our glue is covered in salt. And now this stuff, which is very fun, it works with food coloring or with watercolor. Get your watercolors out, get your paintbrush. Where's my paintbrush? your water. So with your water, you want to dip, 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 water. So get your paintbrush very, very wet. Then choose a color. I'm going to choose this orangey red. Get the red paint very, very, oh, I'm using red, whatever color you're using. And you can tell it, right, on your talker or depending on how you make art, maybe you're telling someone else what color. And then get it very wet, and then you're gonna dip, very lightly touch the salt. And the more water you have on your brush, the more the paint spreads out in this cool way, you see that? Okay, so I'm gonna try another color now. I'm gonna go with yellow, mix, mix, mix. And then touch, oop, that wasn't wet enough, okay. Touch. And see how it, when you when you it's when your paintbrush is nice and wet and it has color in it, it really spreads out on the salt. Looks super cool. Oops. More water. Touch. It's a very fun activity for in the moment. I use green now. Touch, 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 and just watch the paint spread out. Like I said, you could do this with um, food coloring. I would put a little bit of water in an ice cube tray and then put a drop of food coloring in each um, like ice cube spot, and then you can dip that way as well. Okay, I'm gonna add some blue. Okay. 
And what happens when you, and if, if my paper was a, was a light color, I could paint on the paper too. I mean, I could paint on the paper now, but it's not gonna show up as much. But you can also explore what it would be like to paint on your paper and let's go some pink. I've almost covered up all my salt. Now that I started on my paper, I might do more work on my paper too. So that's, that's salt painting. I hope you try it out and I hope you have fun. And I hope I get to see what you made. Have a super rest of your day. Happy art making.